it may still be a little bit dark, but it is morning out here on Silver Ridge Peaks, and that means we're doing something a little bit different than we've done on this map in quite some time. And essentially, I've kind of missed just hunting around on this map and doing just about anything other than the Black Bear Great One grind. And with the news of the New England map coming and the fact that you could do three different Great One grinds on the same map, I'm kind of thinking we may suspend our Black Bear grind for that map. Now, it's going to be the same drink time almost undoubtedly, but just the way this grind has gone since the Black Bear zone time change, I just kind of think it may be best trying it on another map, and in the meantime, we can actually enjoy the entirety of Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, there is obviously a lot to talk about with the New England map, and we haven't gotten to get into that just yet. I think probably the next time any major information comes out regarding that, we'll have like a, a proper video talking about it. Because I was away when the initial video came out, and I just figured it was best to kind of share Mel's video and just go over it that way since I wasn't able to make any content from Tennessee. But basically, I'm very much looking forward to that map, and one kind of, I guess, positive with the information we know as far as the species and, of course, the backfill of species onto other maps is that just because of the way that we've approached things with Reventuli Coast. I think there was only one new species that was like a random duck, I think it was a green winged teal. That kind of bodes well for our attempt at trying to get all of the Reventuli diamonds in single player, and doesn't kind of set us too far back. Now, does that mean that I wouldn't prefer to see some new species? Of course not. New species are always good, but I'm actually really excited about all the other features that are coming along with the New England update, and I can see exactly why it makes sense for there not to be a bunch of new species. New species require more work, more effort, more resources, and those resources and work and effort have gone into making these other new features. So I'm very excited for those. I think they're going to be a huge deal for Call of the Wild as a whole. And in the meantime, of course, it sort of helps with the way that we are approaching our grind that our Rev and Tuli challenge and all that. So I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to allow us to spend a bunch of time on New England and not have to get too overly focused on getting a bunch of diamonds. We can do our grinds and, and just enjoy a new map. But with that many sidetrack out of the way, and of course we don't even know when that map is coming, so that is sometime down the road, we can focus on our hunt on Silver Ridge Peaks today. And outside of one hunt here where everything had kind of been reset, I want to say with the handgun pack, we really haven't done anything other than just Black Bear Grind, so I'm looking forward to just kind of hunting around out here. We know that the Rocky Mountain Elk drink time is 4 to 8 now on this map, so that was the first thing I wanted to do, go and chase some of them, especially in spots that we haven't gotten to check out yet. Now that right there is a piebald Rocky Mountain Elk, and I know I just said that I wanted to go to spots that we hadn't yet checked, but I was intrigued with this area because we shot a couple of decent bulls, and what I find so interesting is that we haven't shot any cow elk, like that was there, and I guess I just didn't see it. And I wouldn't be shocked if any of you guys had pointed that out in the comments, but I want to say that video was like during the point where I was prepping for West Virginia, maybe. So I probably didn't get to go through as many of those comments as I would have liked. I feel like that was around the time frame when that was, but either way, if any of you guys saw that last time we were out there, I'm glad we finally get to take it out, but pretty cool getting a sort of rare anyway. I don't know if piebald elk are still more common than other piebalds, but I feel like I don't see them as much as we used to. But not a bad deal. This is the variant I kind of like more with the piebalds. It's so odd that this is a thing with like multiple rare variants. You get like that little bit of the jaw being visible. Regardless, neat little thing, double lung shot at 200 meters. I suppose we'll tax that in case any future multi mouse come out, including a cow elk. Now we're kind of moving in the right direction, though. A solid max wood estimate bull there. Up to 476. He's going to be nowhere near that. Maybe low 400s at best. And apparently there's one right down here in the trees. I mean, when we take this shot, we'll be able to see where it flees to. Drop that, by the way, so probably hit it in the spinal cord. I thought that was over 200. That guy's kind of decent too. He even shows a, a pretty good size bull can hide if there's enough trees and stuff in the way. Unless we can get like a neck shot. Apparently we can. I was sort of assuming that one was just gonna get away, but we'll take it. And by the way, it's probably worth noting 
as we have some mountain goat out here too. We are at one of these little lakes down here in the Cougar Watch area. Although I guess there's only one. But there's these four that are very similar going down through here all next to the outpost. And I think we'll probably check out all of them just real quick as we move around. We'll leave the mountain goats go for now just because we've caused a fair bit of hunting pressure. But even avoided the skull got a 384 gold out of that guy. Not a half bad deal considering that was just a little bonus. And you know, honestly, there's probably a chance we actually messed this one up, although I do see vital blood. So we managed to get them both despite some kind of odd conditions. I do want to see, it had to be spinal cord and lung. Or double lung and heart somehow. 410 score ain't too bad. It was way further than I thought, 268, so that kind of explains the lower hit than expected, but sure. <laughs> we can accidentally get a hard shot and uh, luck out there, no tracking needed. You know, I do find that interesting. A black bear feeding up here. This was not one of the lakes that we were really grinding. On occasion, we were kind of checking to see if there's anything down here, though, and if you recall the last couple of black bear grind videos we did, it was getting to a point where we just weren't finding enough male bears, and that's kind of why I wanted to just suspend our grind until New England comes out. I just wonder if it's going to be a better map to grind on. I, I can't be certain, but frankly, it would be tough to be worse than what we've had on SRP the last, you know, couple of weeks. So I do find it a little encouraging just to see a male black bear there. And don't get me wrong, I'll still maybe do a little bit of grinding and at the very least, Whenever we find out when New England is coming, we'll try to make sure we do one last sweep through Silver Ridge Peaks because if there is a Great One Bear sitting on our map, it'd be nice to get it out of the way and not have to grind for it on another map, but any little thing like this can sort of help in a situation like that. And so effectively just a little bonus kill, but Dark for a Type 16 scoring Silver, obviously. And I don't know, should we get the opportunity to come back for a Black Bear grind video or two? Probably will have to check this area. What is happening? We had a melanistic female plains bison over on Yukon Valley on the live stream on Monday. Now we have a leucistic one. Here on SRP, there's a, a male black bear there that I kind of also want to get, but naturally today's the day that we grab the 338 and wouldn't have the repeating capacity of the 300. So. We'll try to get a long shot there. That was a little far forward, but it is going to bring it down. And then we can kind of take our time and try to line that shot up. That'll work for that. You know, I think it's insane, and, I, and that's partially why I wanted to come to single player in SRP. Because we've really only focused on the Black Bear, and we've been on a bit of a hot streak, I guess to call it that, on our single player maps from the reset. And it's been this Black Bear grind and the Riven Tuli single player challenge that has just kept us from really exploring other maps as much as we could. All that stuff waiting on Yukon. Two female rares today waiting on SRP, a map that we've been on a good bit. It's It's been cool since the Revenge Julie update to not just dive into every single map and find all that stuff at the beginning, but to spread it out a little bit and make hunts like this in mid-November actually a lot more interesting. That's been one really big positive to not having the Great One Black Bear yet. We've been able to not have that kind of, I guess, slow period that typically is about this time of year. So, despite the fact that I really want to get the bear, I can't complain that we're doing stuff like this this late after the most recent map. But rare number two for the day. Again, initial spawn, no doubt. A leucistic bronze plains bison. I don't know if females can make silver. Maybe they can. I mean, I guess we'll tax that too for, again, potential future multi-mounts or anything that may come out. Close to maybe having a chance at the heart. If we just shot right through the shoulder, it could add a shot, but I don't know that it would have punched all the way through anyway. That is one thing too, though. I really hope, as we see all these things coming with the New England update with the weapon skins and the backfilling of the species onto old maps, another big thing for me would be an expansion of the multi-mount system. And especially in ones where there's not that big a difference, allowing females in some of those multi-mounts as well. 
It's one thing when you have two bucks fighting, like putting a, a doe in that multi-mount wouldn't make a lot of sense, but even in the bison multi-mount, why not put a female bison there? It really wouldn't make that big of a difference. And, you know, we've got... I really thought that was monistic for a second, and it would not have shocked me the way this is going. We've got our monistic bison in that multi-mount. We don't need to put a female leucistic bison that we just shot in that specific one. But there are ones where I think it would be cool if they could add something like that, and who knows, maybe it'll happen. By the way, another Max would have level 4 pronghorn. There have been a ton of them. On that hunt that we did do, the one non-black bear hunt, since the changes to SRP, we killed a number of them, and now we're getting quite a few today. That is odd, though. A bunch of black bear all in this one area. That was a female on the right. Finally, this one we can see, maybe, looks to be also a female and is, so not something we have to worry about as far as getting them. I did wonder if anything drank at this little lake. It, it was basically never used in the past, and as far as I can tell, it still isn't, but I wonder where else those bears would kind of go. Regardless, it's not going to be something that would matter for our grind. Our pronghorn, though, an 87.25 for the first one. Second one should have been around here somewhere. Got mule deer down here. I mean, almost every species. At least the ones that would feasibly be, be down in this area have all been right here. But then our other pronghorn, which I think is going to score a little bit better. I guess it is a little bit better. 88.09 for him. 234 meter right lung shot. I'm, I guess it was just the fact that we didn't double lung him because we almost did. But he ran for quite some distance, to be honest. And I suppose, rather fittingly, wrapping up with another herd of pronghorn. A bunch of decent males still, but I think that guy kind of in the middle there is going to be our best option. And go ahead and get him with the 270 Stradivarius. I don't know what that is, just a turkey over there. I thought maybe we had yet another random rare, but it's been a pretty good hunt. And again, we've had this streak of hunting single player maps and, and having success and especially for one that we just haven't gotten to fully explore it's been nice to see that there is stuff out here that we've been missing out on but not a bad deal another gold pronghorn at 81.5 for him and i don't think we'll be going back to the trophy lodge the couple of female rares while cool aren't going to make the main lodge but again always nice to kind of have them I guess stockpiled if a multi-mount update ever were to happen to allow those kind of things into the lodge. But yeah, good to get back on SRP and good to see the map in the daylight for once. And I'm sure we'll be coming back sometime in the near future. I assume we have a while until the New England map comes out, so hopefully we can get another chance or two to come out here and see what else is on the map. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.